now a word from those fine folks at the Library of Congress. Control number 815139851H regarding Superman is sleeping in. Now you see, Superman is sleeping in. Superman is sleeping in. a song that was based on another song that was based on a t-shirt. Dear Mr. Hen, we are delaying registration because you have named an author on the application who has not authored enough words to support a copyright claim. I believe that would be uh, Ray Troll. When the copyright claim includes words, the words must represent at least a minimum amount of original authorship. You see the song Superman is sleeping in. Superman is, is actually a new set of lyrics set to a song that had been written uh, inspired by a t-shirt that I had seen while driving up to Maine to play up at the Swans Island Music Festival. <laughs> and I had stopped at a coffee shop along the way and there was a t-shirt on the wall that caught my eye. Hook me, beat me, hook me, eat me up. I was thinking, if that's not a song, I don't know what is. So lo and behold, uh, I did write a song with the help of Bob Lucas, also a claimant here, to be, to be or not to be, Bob Lucas. And I'm thinking, hook me, beat me, cook me, eat me. That sounded like a sizable portion of the song right there. I figured we better give Mr. Troll 10, 20% of this damn puppy, don't you think? That's what I thought. Bob was fine with that, but... Some works, even original, are too short to be protected. For example, words in short verbal phrases such as names, titles, and slogans are not copyrightable. The same is true of very repetitious phrases. The same is true of very repetitious phrases. Please delete all the information in space to see of your original form. We will then register the words of music you and Mr. Lucas have co-authored. I just love that sentence. How often do you think you're going to get something from the Library of Congress referring to yourself and the inimitable Mr. Lucas in a single sentence? If the situation is otherwise, let us know and we will advise you further. Please reply within 120 days. <laughs> I'm really glad because I thought it was maybe... 90, and I think I still would have made that, but this came in July, and today is uh, September. Oh my God, it's <laughs> September 15th. Oh, I better hurry. And return the enclosed reply sheet referring to our control number. Our control number. Theirs and mine. Kind of like, here we are, you and me. The Library of Congress and me. Sincerely, Francine Mattea. Examiner, Performing Arts Section. Now, you see, the whole thing was, producer Paul Gazone, you remember Paul, right? Did you have a problem with the cat smell? He loved the way this song sounded and felt in the studio, and just thought it was too bad it was like this silly little novelty tune about fish. When it could be a novelty tune about type A personalities. <laughs> and you can tell which version is more serious than the other because uh, the version you're about to see has puns and banjo galore. Performed with Bob Lucas on banjo and vocal, Rich Jenkins on piano, Rich's kids, Stephanie. I'd like to see your song for you today. You know, I was walking on the subway and I, I met this really nice guy and so I wrote this song and I think you're gonna like it. Here's the song. And Reed Jenkins on theatrics and unseen but heard Tom McDonald on drums. I tried to get a plank down a rickshaw but <laughs> there weren't any around. <laughs> oh that'll be a that'll be a sound bite. Performing at the Sweet Chariot Music Festival August 2006. The world debut because we had just written the song that 
that morning and the day before of hook me, beat me. I always gotta look because I always forget. Cook me, eat me, up. Love it.